It's my choice, and I choose to change the world. It's my voice, and I speak with pride and courage. I'll be the change I want to see. I'll scream out loud and say, it's my choice, and I choose to change the world. My name is Octavia Ferguson, and I am a freshman at Spelman. I'm going to put this on. I wasn't thinking about which is the best college. I was thinking what's best for me. I'm always trying to see what can I do to make myself better as a person. Come on, Melissa, stop crying. <laughs> I'm thinking about my morals, and I'm thinking about my values. Melissa crying already. And Spelman has such great, rich tradition. We take a great deal of pride in the fact that we were founded in 1881, less than a generation after the end of slavery, by two women who were really visionary, who said, we want to create a school for black women where they can become leaders, where they, through their education, can uplift the communities around them. My name is Beverly Daniel Tatum, and I am the president of Spelman College. That vision of women who are empowered through their education to make a difference in the world is very much alive and well here at Spelman College. I'm gonna start crying because I'm a Me too. <laughs> I'm the oldest of six kids. Punch you so I can feel better. In ninth grade, we were taken away and placed in foster care due to neglect. There was no lights, no electricity, no water. I thought that like once I got in ninth grade that that would have been the end of that. I ended up in jail or something like that. I wasn't allowed to do homework at my house because I was the oldest and I was supposed to be watching the kids. And I actually got in trouble because I was reading a book. I'm not even excited about going to school. I'm excited about going to Spelman. And I have been Octavia's foster mom for three and a half years. Octavia was determined to get to Spelman and she was not letting anything hold her back. It's a little unbelievable. I'm still not like really taking the hold that I'm actually going there yet. Maybe by the second year. <laughs> I feel, I feel all right. How do you feel? I feel like a Spelman tonight. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Woo! The campaign for Spelman is really about transformation. It's about transformation of opportunity for all those students who have the talent and the drive to be at Spelman but can't afford to be here. One, two, three, smile. And wanting to make the kind of future that a Spelman will provide available to those talented students. I'm just so proud of her. I'm so proud because of the obstacles she came over. And this was her goal, and it was no stopping her. And to see her to be able to reach that dream, is, I know that she's going to do well. Yes, I am a foster child. You know, and yes, I have all these statistics saying that I'm not going to make it, but I did. My name is Jasmine Miller. I am a dual degree computer science software engineering. And my name is Janicia Keels, and I'm a junior dual degree computer science computer engineering major. I met them uh, when they were first year students here and they were the first ones to come down to our robotics club meeting and they were ready to, to participate. My name is Andrew Williams. I'm an associate professor at Spelman College in the Department of Computer and Information Sciences. He has provided so many opportunities for us. It's ridiculous. To me, they're the epitome of a Spelman student. We taught ourselves how to program and he said, you guys can do this, you guys can do this. He's continually saying that don't put any limits on what you can or cannot do. When I was at Iowa, University of Iowa, I taught two African-American students in five years. Uh, my wife and I decided we would uh, look at me working at an HBCU, and Spelman is the one that chose me, and I chose Spelman. We have a lot of African-American women that are uh, role models in entertainment or um, athletics, but we want role models that are succeeding in technology, computer science, and engineering. Being able to be in a field that continually changes, being able to never say, oh, okay, once I learn this, this is it, I can always, I'm always learning something new. In my book, I kind of talk about how I was able to overcome some of my obstacles. I was, when I was born, I slept in a cardboard box. 
um, as a baby, young, um, in a two-bedroom trailer. Um, but then also, uh, what I try to tell students is, don't let people put you in a box of low expectations, or don't put yourself in a box of fear of failure. I think that's the main thing Spellman and Professor Williams have done, encouraged me to follow my dreams. This past May, we competed in Japan's um, Open Tournament in RoboCup. RoboCup is considered the Olympics of artificial intelligence and robotics. We were up against pretty much the MIT equivalent of Japan. The mechanics of just walking is a task in itself. You have to calculate the angle at which it's um, walking. If something's off, like on the knee, then it'll Even fall over. Even if it's over. just by a millimeter, it'll fall over. Kicking the ball is also indeed a task you're on one foot, and right. then you have to do like the hand-arm coordination. <laughs> I think they were thinking they were gonna beat our team uh, pretty readily. It came down to a final showdown with, uh, what was it, like a sudden death kind of showdown. And we tied uh, the, the team from Japan uh, in the championship match. And so what I'm saying is, look out, because I'm not going to just sit here and be another stereotype for you to look at me and be like, oh, well, she's black and she's a female. She's not a computer science person. She can't be. She can't be anything educational. I'll be the change I want to see. I'll scream alone and say, it's my choice and I choose to change the world. We talk about making a choice to change the world. I mean, it sounds great, it's a nice song that goes along with it, but we really do mean it. What do we do about them? Let's start here. My name is Cynthia Neal Spence, and I'm an associate professor of sociology. I've been at Spelman a total of 28 years. We really want our women to understand that they have the ability to change society. Someone else had their hand up here. That okay, they have the power to make positive changes in the world. My job is really to help nurture them personally so that when we are talking about the education of Spelman women, we really are talking about the holistic education of these Spelman women. Dr. Spence is one of those professors that just I mean, it's totally, totally captivating from the moment she steps into her classroom. I've known Angela since she was a sophomore. My name is Angela Boudreau. I am born and raised in Houston, Texas. She's a student who is just hungry. She wants to know everything. She really does, and she's very, very socially conscious. If there was one word I could use to describe my Spelman experience, it would be transformative. I do. What would she want? I want our young women to be fearless about stepping outside of these kind of very structured boxes that sometimes women are placed in. Spelman is small. Spelman is intimate. Your professor knows you by name. I'm Veronica Biggins and I'm co-chair for the Spelman campaign. When I look at my career and what I've been able to do in my life and I think about the professors on this campus that forced you, forced you, I want to be clear about this, forced you to rise to the occasion. I have supported Spelman College financially because Spelman College has meant everything in my life. Did I think I would end up in the White House? Um, no, I didn't think I was going to end up in the White House two days before I made the decision to go to the White House. Why would I not give back? Spelman College gave me the foundation to be everything that I could be in my life. It's with a gracious heart and appreciation that I am able to give back to Spelman College. When you give money to Spelman College, you will immediately be able to see the value that you have added to this campus. If you want to invest in the future of this country, indeed the world, you have to invest in the human capital. The young women who are choosing to be at Spelman are the best and the brightest of their high schools. They have come here ready and willing to put the energy and the determination and the commitment into their education so that they can solve the problems that wait for them when they graduate. Yet, they have to be able to graduate. Yeah. 
Spelman produces women who are going to change the world. My name is Nicole Barden. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. I could go to any school and have a great education, great time, meet great people, but I could only become a Spelman woman at Spelman. It's very clear that a Spelman woman is expected to give back to her community through her service and that that service is to be informed by a keen intellect which is being developed here at Spelman. I volunteered at the Atlanta Harm Reduction Center uh, throughout my time here at Spelman. We deal with people who are uh, substance abusers doing reckless, risky sexual behaviors. On Saturdays, they'll load the van up, take it to a corner, and they'll give out condoms, lubricants, and then they have a needle exchange program, which is very controversial. But what essentially happens is uh, people will bring in used needles, and then they'll get um, clean needles back. The controversy um, comes up when people say you're encouraging drug use, but I, I don't see it that way. You're trying to reach a population that you're not gonna reach by just saying, no, you shouldn't use drugs. That's not going to happen. You're meeting people where they are, and you're saying, if you're going to use, be safe about it. But we're also trying to get you to come into this community to see that you really don't need drugs. Working in that environment has really been great because it opens your eyes to a different group of people. Spell me, look around and see where the changes need to be in poverty, fighting overseas. Well, we think the world now expects people to have a more global perspective. And the way you get that is have an international experience. And I want to talk about how you get recommendations for these kind of fellowships. My name is Marjorie Gans. I'm the director of Study Abroad and International Exchange at Spelman College. The people who apply for the roads are really spectacular. When I started in 1981, we had two or three students a year who went abroad. And now, probably 160 next year. We want people to be able to go no matter what their financial situation is. My first semester overseas, I was at Goldsmiths College in London, England, in the heart of the city. And then to go to Cape Town, South Africa, to a township, and to see people living in ways that I didn't even know humans could bear was very, very powerful. I got a Fulbright, and so I will be an English teaching assistant in Indonesia for a year. And then while I'm also over there, I will be starting a creative writing program for teenage girls. It forces you out of your shell. It also gives you, in some ways, a better sense of who you are as an American. Spelman woman is a uh, smart, talented, strong, powerful, daring, change agent, risk takers. We are critical thinkers, encouraging, successful, curious, intelligent, free thinking, independent, amazing. We want them to be smart, we want them to be analytical, but we also want them to see that bigger picture. When they graduate on Sunday, we don't expect them to stop learning. We want them to be committed to continuous learning. We want them to be committed to, com to their communities. Now is your time to be recognized. Now, more so than ever, is the time to step up and help this college. I'm thinking it's a dream, honestly. Like, I haven't even just like taking in the real reality of it. I like to say the future we save will be our own. And that in fact, it is the young people of this nation and around the world that are going to make the changes that we need to see happen. And if we don't invest in them, we're out of luck. Make a choice, make a choice, make a choice. What's your choice, what's your choice, what's your choice?